Dear audience, please rise for our esteemed guest, Mr. Kapil Dev, one of the greatest all-rounders of all time. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams by Eleanor Roosevelt. A very wonderful morning to one and all present here. My name is Shreya Shetigar. And I am Rishit Kora. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please join me in extending a warm welcome to the legendary cricketer, the recipient of the Padma Bhushan, the ICC Hall of Fame inductee, and our victorious skipper, Mr. Kapil Dev. Here, we would also like to welcome Mr. Matthew Spacey, founder and chairman of Magic Bus. Welcome, sir. Our Global Schools Foundation has completed more than 20 years since its inception. During these two decades, the school has not only ensured that our students get excellent academic education, but the school has also provided us with platforms to excel in non-academic areas. This includes our Goal Squad program, which handpicks talented students to be further coached to perform better. The next video is, this, is a snapshot of the vision of our school. Leading edge technology, science, and sports. Innovation, acceleration. Space exploration. Right here, right now, my future begins. It's hands-on, but it's also academically way up here. So I'm learning the skills I need to explore the universe. And I'm expanding my skill base with these next generation purpose-built studios. They adapt to a changing world. It's the future, and it's now. Right here, right now. Technology gives me the opportunity to dive deep into research and innovation. With world-class educators to guide the way, I am best prepared for higher education and the university of my choice. New advances, new insights, mean new opportunities. And with them, come new creative ways of problem solving. It's the future, and it's now. Right here, right now, at these smart sports facilities, while best-in-class coaches are developing my strengths, guiding me to overcome my weaknesses, and bringing out the best that I can be. So I'm tech-empowered for better results, bringing my dream into reality. The future, it's now. Wow, what a truly inspiring video. Today's GII's leadership lecture series will begin with Mr. Kapil Dev speaking to the audience. This will be followed by a discussion with our student panelists who will take center stage with pertinent questions for Mr. Kapil Dev. Without further ado, we would like to extend our greetings to Mr. Kapil Dev and we request him to address the audience. So please. Namaskar. Good morning to everybody. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say ladies and gentlemen, I'll say students. You're more important. You are the future of our country, our world. So it's important how you see the world. It's not 
you have to listen. I like to listen from you people. What do you think the next generation? We only can guide you, but I think you are the people who have to really work hard and take the world in a better side. I always believe that 5% negative people in this world cannot rule the 95% good people. But the good people have to talk and come out and deliver. A good people always sit and watch. No, the time has come we should overpower all those negative people. Oh, sorry. Yeah, technology, I will talk about that also. <laughs> technology is beautiful, but technology is made by you people. It should not override you. You are the one have to control. As long as you use your t big hair, who produced the technology and made the technologies more important. Don't depend on this. Depend on your brain. That's the most important. I mean, you have to believe that you can do it and nobody can stop that. Thank you very much for inviting me, giving me opportunity to come and talk here. And to Matthew, what you're doing with the magic bus. You are a very important and lucky people because your parents given you a better education. There are so many students around the world, all the kids who don't get education what you are getting. You have to understand that. When you grow, become something in your life, try to help those people who are not so fortunate. If you have that, a frame of mind, kindness in your heart, you always will live happy. I have not come here to bore you. I like to learn from you what the next generation believe and they want to do that. Only one thing I'll say, respect your teacher. Respect your parents. You Understand that you maybe tomorrow can be the prime minister of the country, you can be finance minister, you can be anybody, but all what you are getting today because of that, you will reach there. And who's giving you? Your teacher and your parent. Respect that. To teacher, I want to say that also, when I was studying, don't partial anybody. Everybody treat the same. We do have, we do have that, <coughs> the kids understand. Teacher, teacher have their liking and disliking, but that's what human beings are. You all students also, you like one friend, you don't like other friend. Teacher are just the same, sometimes they like the kids also, and they have a soft corner. I played cricket. Me also tried my best. I treat all my team in the same manner. But sometimes you have liking for certain people. That's teacher. But as a student, don't keep a grudge against your teacher. Don't worry. It happens. <laughs> and to you teachers, only way I can say, treat everybody just the same. Just the same, it will give you happiness when you sleep because you are not trying to say he's good or he's not good. For you, all the kids are your kids. It's no difference. This is what I can say and no more than that because when I was sitting in that side and I always said, how boring this is. <laughs> or I used to truly, believe me. So I said, I don't want to give lecture. I like to participate with the kids, that's more important. So the best part can be if we can have question answer. A next generation have to come out with something which we can learn from you people. So I don't want to say more than that. To your school, good luck. You're getting great education. As before I go, I will say only one thing. A lot of Kid says too much pressure studying. It's no pressure. 
If tomorrow you become a better human being, then today it cannot be pressure. It should be pleasure. The difference is only this much. You take your education is a pressure you will never enjoy. Take this is a fun. Education is a fun because this is the strength you will keep it with you rest of your life. So education, take it as a sports. Enjoy that. We say in sports, there is no pressure. It's a pleasure when we play the game. When you take it as a pressure, don't play. If you think you are studying and it's pressure, go study. It's OK. You open a small shop, tea, chai, coffee, well, a small shop. But if you are educated, you will get the better life to live. So education for you, not for anybody else. Enjoy your education. It will be wonderful. Once again, to Magic Bus, thank you very much. You are giving to the kids so much, which the kids are not so kind. God is not so kind to certain people. God is kind to everybody, but certain people, they send us, if we can help them, why not? And we are trying our best but you have to do much more than what we did in our life. Thank you very much. A true inspiration to all of us. Thank you, sir, for your words of wisdom. May I now invite Mr. Prashant Bafna, Country Director, GIS Singapore, up onto stage with Kapil, sir. We will now begin the discussion with students from our smart campus, Singapore, while students from our campuses in Tokyo, Dubai, and the One World International School, Nanyang Campus, will join us virtually. Over to the panelists. My teacher used to love me is on the sports day. <laughs> because that was my subject. So I come out with applying colors. Otherwise, I'm a dyslexia. So in our time, the spelling was very, very important. And teacher used to put so much emphasis on that. And my spelling was always wrong. And I got a lot of threshing. Lots and lots of beating I got from my teacher. But that's OK. 50 years back, people didn't know what is dyslexia is. Today, you know that. I wish they known in my time, I would have been better a student. Are you all relaxed? Are you tense? I am. Good morning, sir. I am Aryan Modi from IB Year 2 Smart Campus Singapore. It is my greatest honor to be here today. Let me introduce you to my fellow panelists, Vihan Hampi Halikar, Hiranmay Anand, and Samiksha Basri. Let us now begin with the panel discussion. We are honored and ecstatic to be able to speak to you today, sir. We are hoping to learn a lot from this interaction. We also have questions from our other GIIS campuses, including Tokyo, Dubai, and One World International School, Singapore. With your permission, we would now like to start the panel discussion. Oh, I'm the person who have to give permission. All right, given. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. I come here for a pun, honestly. I think, yes, uh, I, I have a purpose to come and talk to you, but my base in life is to enjoy myself, whichever circumstances you are, and you can perform better. So, 25th June 1983 was a historic day for the whole of India. It was the day in which our country won its first World Cup in cricket under your captaincy. We've all watched the movie 83, in which this moment is captured in history for the next generation. But today, I'm sitting here in front of the legend that made this happen. It's only natural for me to ask, when we win a medal or trophy for our school, we're filled with an immense sense of pride and contentment. 
How did it feel for you to win the World Cup for the entirety of a nation? Today? <laughs> How do I feel today? <laughs> I mean, 40 years back, something happened. I don't remember much. <laughs> because you have to move on in life. You know, don't carry your pride throughout your life. It's you done. It's bury and move on for the next day where you can achieve more. And I, I personally believe I don't remember much because it's 40 years back. I wasn't a good student, so I don't remember. There is two type of people. One people who make a history, or one can say a people who create the history and one people who talk about that. I created, I don't want to talk about that. I was, I was talking this morning on the breakfast, somebody asked me, I said, in my house, in my house, I don't have a, one cricketing photograph. No, because I like to move on in life. And that's the way I believe that. To me, today is more important than yesterday. But if I live on yesterday, then my tomorrow will be bad. That's the way I lived my life. Thank you, sir. I'm sure we'll keep your words close to our heart. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Uh, it's a fan movement for us because I think I can see your uh, craze across generation because everyone... What you have to do if it's a fa fan movement? Um, I can't even express what okay. we, we are guys are going that through. That he can't express. Leave but it. it's it's <laughs> honor. It's uh, Enjoy. That's if what? it's a fan movement, enjoy that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, that's the reason I said even I'm even feeling nervous because when you got that World Cup in hand, I might be five years old. And now I can't even imagine sitting in such a, next to the legend. So it's a so big So you're 45 for years old today. Yeah. <laughs> so um, coming to the point, uh, we do have a gold squad as mentioned by our host earlier. We have five sports where our team, our student focuses majorly. And one of them is cricket. In fact, our students have represented uh, Singapore national team at ICC level recently also. We do select children based on their performances. We give them opportunity to go to the next level and achieve. Uh, it's one of the important uh, milestones in terms of sports and nine terms of what we talk about. And we also have um, uh, a mentoring happening through our patron, Mr. Chandrabode. Under his name, we also have tournaments happening uh, in our school where we invite uh, schools uh, from other regions too. What else we can do for our students to achieve next level when it comes to cricket or any other sports? Just open the door for them. You can't do anything for them. You have to show the road map. This is what it is. They have to pick. I don't think so. My daughter asked me, we were talking, Dad, what do you want me to become? I said, from Dad's point of view, I think you can't become, not even 5%. She looked at me and she said, what? I said, as a father, I would like you to be doctor, engineer, scientist, prime minister of the country. That's not going to be possible because that's a father feeling. But what do you want to become in life? Can I help you? That was the difference. So I think for these kids, we can open the door and say, you pick what you like to become and don't copy. Don't copy somebody. If this person is like that, I like to be original. Duplicate cannot be better than original. I think so, in a very simple way, but very impactful. Yeah, I think you be clearly what you are. That. I mean, in this age, character is important. Character take you much higher. And 
whatever you want to do, don't try to say I want to be because my friend likes singing, I also. No, you may have a passion in painting, writing. So do, try to find out what do you have. The day you realize who you are, you are a successful person. No, that's why I said don't copy. Just think what your brain is saying, what you want. A lot of parents will say, you become doctor, engineer, scientist, fine. That's their duty for you to become a better person. It's you have to pick and say, I want to become something like that. Everybody can't play cricket, but they can play other sports also. But if you just say, I want to be a cricketer, wrong. Just feel that. You might have a talent for something else, not only cricket. So your growth will take place when you realize who you are. Somebody can write very well. Somebody can speak very well. You have to find out about yourself. What do you have? Thank you, sir. So, we will now have a question from the GIIS Dubai campus. Sorry, come again. This is a question from the GIIS Dubai campus. Um, it'll be played, watch it. Okay. Hi, my name is Almasira Jahangir and I represent the UAE Women's International Cricket Team. And I am currently at the GIS Dubai campus. So, your career has been illustrious with numerous memorable matches. Could you share with us the most challenging match you faced as a cricketer and how you mentally prepared yourself for such intense encounter? That what happened yesterday, I don't remember much. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, somebody asked me, uh, what does that 5,000 run 400 wicket? Somebody asked me, what does that meaning to you? I said, today? They said, yeah. I said, zero. It's gone. But when I was playing, I will die for every run. I will die for every wicket. But when it's gone after that, nothing you can do. And you should not talk too much about that. Your final exams are gone. Don't talk about that, no, it's gone. Just think for the next day. <laughs> and, and often we say that, uh, why I'm bringing this subject, all the kids, the teacher, tried to put so much emphasis last month. Now you study hard. But if you study hard throughout the year, you don't have to work very hard last day. In cricket, if you practice very hard throughout the year, on the test match, you don't have to do something extraordinary or one day or T20. It's your preparation is very, very important and that's what you should. What this girl asked me about my thing, it's gone. It's all on the record. I mean, we leave the impact for people and other people, we look up to them. And that's it. I don't remember much. Uh, so many cricketers are like that. They remember every run, every wicket. I don't remember. Let other people remember. <laughs> that's the theory in my life is I like to move on. I want to see what is today. Lovely coffee here. But where is coffee? There is no coffee. <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> so I like to live for the moment and enjoy my moment. And that's it. Not what happened 15, 20, 30 years back. Every moment was great. When you represent your country, there can't be a greater moment than that. Somebody asked me, Kapil, which is the biggest day for you in cricket? So if I ask everybody, they will say winning the World Cup, for not for me. That wasn't the biggest thing. That is the biggest thing for you people, because you watch. To me, the day I represent my country, that was the biggest day. <laughs> it's a thought process. If I have not represent my country, I wouldn't have played for India. I wouldn't have become captain. I wouldn't have won the World Cup. So biggest day in my life was the day I made a debut. 
For you people, the biggest day for you is the day you join this school. Understand that. Not the day you pass, the day you join, you get a better facilities to study, and then sky is the limit. Thank you, sir, for answering this question for us. Sir, my next question to you is a very personal one. So I have captained the school cricket team, and I'm a co-member of the Singapore national under-19 team. I do remember the day when I got my first national call-up, and that was probably the one, one of the best days of my life. So my question to you is, from one captain to another, what do you think are the characteristics that a leader should possess? Furthermore, so how do you keep yourself and your team motivated, even though you as a captain and a leader are not able to perform to your full skills and abilities? Is that personal, your personal? We'll talk later because we are here for the audience. Never say my personal, say we want to know yes. that. Your personal is we can go back door and we'll talk there in, in quietly. So you are not asking me here, I'm not sitting for your personal thing, but your question should for the audience, for everybody, is that as a captain, you have to do your best. Make sure what I given uh, started there. Don't say, I like this player, I don't like this, what I said about the teacher. To you, the entire team should be the same, and you have to get the best from everybody. Somebody asked me when I start playing cricket, he said, Kapil, never, ever, ever treat what you can do, other people can do that. No. Just make sure as a captain, get the best from other people. You will be a better person. When you start comparing yourself, then it's very difficult. You will never find they are coming to the level. Why you become captain? Because some people think you have extraordinary ability. That's why you become a captain. You didn't make captain yourself, did you? Somebody made you captain. So you have that ability. If they're given you responsibility, treat everybody just the same. If you're a head boy of your school, treat everybody just the same. Not, he's my friend, I won't say anything. No. To friend, you have to say much harder than who's not your friend. Thank you so much, sir. I'll keep that advice near and dear to my heart. So, as a national men's and under-19 cricketer who is eager to learn, I've tried to be an avid observer of the game. One thing I've noticed in recent years is the changing techniques of batsmen who play the game. For example, Steve Smith, who's been a difficult challenge for bowlers to face and has reaped great rewards in recent years. So, what advice would you give to the younger generation for dealing with these changes in technique? And do you believe that for a bowler, things like head position and load up are still extremely critical for pitching the ball on a good line and length? I think find a way within yourself. You can't say only one technique can work, no. I think every generation different kind of people will come and then the bowler have to think differently. In your education also, not one way you should study. Method is change. What it was studying in our time and today's school is change. So I think you are the one have to find the way. The bowlers, today's bowler have to find a way. I can't tell them because I did very systematically in my time, looking at my days. Today, things have changed. If I ask you today, calculate without a calculator, you can't do it. You've grown up with that. And if you ask us, we study differently we can calculate totally differently, which you can't even imagine. And people say, what? Without a calculated, you calculated? That's what it happened. So the next generation have to come out with something more to the world. You will be successful. Thank you so much, sir. That's truly inspirational. <laughs> so now we have a question from One World International School. Hi, my name is Daniela Homan. I am an IB student at One World International. 
And my question is, every celebrity uh, is now jumping on social media trends, dance or dialogue to get followers or become influencers. What do you think of this new, uh, new social norm? Is it good or bad or somewhere in between? Depend how you use it. The technology is there, but don't depend on technology everything. Use your brain. That's more important. Brain made technology. Technology didn't make your brain. So use yourself and look for the new ideas and new thing in life. And I would say, don't depend on this throughout your life. Your growth will stop. Leave Saturday, Sunday, no phone. Start, learn to live with that. Say no phone, which the next generation, the, your generation, they don't know what to do. Sitting in one room, they are just chatting on the phone. Why can't you talk? When the school was shut for two years, we were saying the worst time is happening for the kids because growth takes place when you talk to the student. Then the, they make a friend, they, how to deal with the friendship. But if the school shut, other people can manage. Those kids who miss two years school, they miss much more than other people. Other people miss money, but the student miss the growth of their life. Thank you so much, sir, for that answer. Sir, nowadays, the concept of greatest of all time, or go GOAT, is becoming increasingly popular in the world of sports and media. And fans are quick to label any new dynamic player as the GOAT. But for every Sachin Tendulkar, there is a Virat Kohli. And for every Mansoor Ali Khan Pataudi, there is a Mahendra Singh Dhoni. So my question to you is, what are your opinions on this concept of GOAT? Do you think it is a fair assessment of the sports, sports person and the sport itself? I think it's important, but it's not important. You don't have to. You have to create within yourself what you want to be there. Other top players left an impression, this is what they can do. This is very American word. It's a pressure, it's the goal, this is what I have to. You set a goal within yourself. I want to do that. And when you set a goal within yourself, honestly, I think that's the biggest challenge. Are we honest to ourselves? When you're honest to yourself, your goal is reasonably there. But then it comes hard work. I never, ever, ever said I have a pressure. Coming here, it was fun I'm going to talk to you. It's not a pressure. If it's pressure, I shouldn't be sitting here. It's a pleasure talking to you people. It's a this much different pleasure. Enjoy, enjoy coming to the school. Enjoy whatever you are doing. The result will be better. Thank you so much, sir. Your answer really changed our perspective on GOAT, which has now become such an integral part of an athlete's image. Uh, we have another virtual question from the GIIS Tokyo campus. Hello, sir. I'm Janvi Stravaster from GIIS Tokyo, and I'm really glad to have this opportunity today. So my question to you is, throughout your career, both on and off the field, you have showcased excellence as an all-rounder. From being an inspiring fast-paced bowler to a hard-hitting batsman, making special appearances in Bollywood movies to authoring multiple books, you have truly diversified talents. In your opinion, what are the key attributes and skills necessary to effectively balance and develop multiple skill sets while fostering holistic growth? Thank you. I'll come back to the same realization of your own ability and talent. And that's it. When you say all round, I'm batting, bowling, fielding, I think it's extra work, which I enjoy doing that. Easy way out, only become a batsman. Easy way out, only become a bowler. 
But when you love something, somebody asked me, what do you like, batting, bowling, or fielding? I said, I like cricket. Do you like, do you like studying, or you like English, math, or science? That's more important. If you enjoy studying, then everything come in that. Then it's come in the education. So I enjoy playing, doesn't matter what. Even marbles, I enjoy playing. Flying kite, I enjoy that. So wherever there is a sports, I enjoy that. So you have to pick your passion and enjoy that. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, this is a question from all us cricketers out there. Sir, owing to the different conditions in the world, what would be your advice towards playing spin and scoring runs in the subcontinent with low gripping and turning wickets as compared to other wickets that tend to be slightly flat, flatter and bouncier as this is a problem that I and many other cricketers face, sir? So you want comfort. <laughs> Basically, you want comfort. The ball shouldn't turn, nothing should happen. Come straight to the bat, I can get runs. I think the challenge in life is difficult situation you come out, you feel proud about that. Don't look for, don't look for comfort. Take a challenge. Say, this challenge is bigger. And we always respect those sports people in difficult condition when they perform. In cricket, it's turning track or it's a bouncy, uneven, we want to see the character. Who will come out and save today? A good wicket, everybody will get 100. What's the big deal about that? Thank you, sir. I'm sure your words were truly inspiring for all us cricketers out there who want to have it easier compared to actually showing the character of their abilities and skills. So when it comes to students in higher grades, it's often observed that parents encourage their children to focus more on academics rather than on extracurricular activities like sports. From your perspective, how crucial is it to incorporate sports as an integral part of students' uh, journey in this world? I think it's uh, both ways. In our time, uh, you know, sports doesn't have a chance to make a life out of that. Today, there is different. But I think education is one thing will remain with you till you die. A sports, I can only play it for 15 years today. I can't play. I can talk about that. But I think if you are educated, so you have to make a balance what is right, what is wrong. You can't say only this way one thing. But one way is definitely your education will take you much higher places than any other thing. You may, be, you may be best cricketer, but end of the day, when a cricketer play well, when it comes to the evening talking, half of the cricketer can't talk. Then the education comes in. So we always say the education is more important. It will remain with you. Thank you, sir. I'm sure all the parents here have listened to this very carefully. And student also. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, sir, my question is, we have all learned that education is both theoretical and practical, and both play an important part in shaping our future. Sir, in your opinion, do you think that experience helps performance? Did you learn more while playing matches or during training? Oh, I learn more while traveling. Practice is definitely, when you travel the world and you see different kind of people, if your mind is open. When I start playing for India, somebody said, Kapil, if you want to be successful, keep your eyes and ears open while sleeping also. And I come from a very different background. I was translating in my own language. And I said, Dear, kaise ho sakta hai? So I was translating, then he took a pause. He said, literally don't go what I said, understand the meaning, awareness. What's happening is more success than anything else. So you learn when you travel, as long as 
you are ready to open your mind. The time you say, I know everything, is the downfall. It's not you're talking to very educated person. Even your driver can teach you something if you have a mind to learn. Your cook can teach you something if you have a mind to learn. When you think people below you, they don't know nothing, they also can offer you something which can help your life. Thank you so much for your advice, sir. Thank you, sir, for your insightful views and dedicating time from a busy schedule to come here and grace us with your presence. This has truly been an inspirational discussion, and I'm sure all my peers sitting here will be inculcating your advice into our daily lives. Can't we have chat with them? Yeah. Uh, do we have enough time? Yeah, we can talk and talk to the kids what they are. You planned. I don't like planning. I like, I like, I like natural. Whatever the teacher or parents or student want to ask me, that's much more. So who want to ask me the question? So I'm sure everybody's hand would be raised right now. All right. We will take five to seven. One there. Yeah, okay. Whoever has the mic. Go ahead, go uh, ahead. Sir, G good morning, sir. <laughs> Why sir so loud and good morning, <laughs> sir? Good morning, sir. sir Say good morning. <laughs> good morning. Yes. Sir, I had a question to ask. Sir, what is your favorite IPL team? You know, IPL team, one thing is very bad. They change every year the players. Yes, sir. I don't like that. I like to follow a team, not a name. A uh, team is who are playing with them. So one day, one year I say, this player is playing here. Next year, Hardik Pandey played to Gujarat. One yes, sir. Bombay. Jadeja plays one year to Gujarat, then goes back to Chennai. Yes, sir. So I think then you can't really uh, make your liking. You like few players, it's fine. But every year, if change, I don't have a favorite team. I just enjoy watching IPL. That's it. Thank you, sir. It's an honor to talk with you. Go ahead. Hi, sir. Uh, I had a question that, apart from the Indian team, which player would you... Uh, Consider your favorite. Why should I have anybody as favorite? <laughs> I like my people, Baba. I love my people. Yeah. Once I love my people, then I can love other people. First, let me love them. Then amongst the Indian team, who is your favorite player? All the players who are playing for India, they have to be favorite. End of the day, it's the performance which cricketer are giving that become. There is two type of cricketers come out. One who are waiting for their performance and one who are enjoying the game. When Jadeja comes there, I feel he's enjoying the game. Other people playing the game. So I look up to those type of people. Thank you, sir. Um, hello, sir. Um, like Modi and Vihan, um, I p also play for Singapore, and I play for the women's team. So, and also considering the fact that Singapore is an associate country, and when you guys played the World Cup, India was you know, almost close to an associate country too, and you guys were often, um, you know, demoralized by negative comments and told that you guys are not worth the position you were given, and um, with wins, you were told that it was fluke. Um, how exactly did you keep your morale up, and the team's morale being captain, and um, you know, it's negative comments are very like hurtful, and despite the fact that you're working day and night, and you're working really, really hard, you're not getting the results you want to achieve. So how do you keep your morale? Are you a negative person or positive person? Uh, Myself, positive, but... Th then why you bother about negative, what people say is that? 
there a lot of people try to pull you down, doesn't bother you. It's a challenge. When I start playing, I took always a challenge. He can't bowl fast. I said, okay, I'll try to prove other people wrong. Proving other people wrong in a positive manner is a beautiful thing. Uh, good morning, Kapil, sir. Uh, what are your thoughts on the upcoming ODI World Cup and who do you think the players are going to, like, which players do you think are going to shine, like our playing 11 and all? I'll just watch, but again, my mind says something else, my heart says something else. My heart says India will win it, but mine says it's a tough call. <laughs> it's a tough job. And that's how the life is all about. You have to balance with your uh, a mind and a heart. So if you think your heart is playing stronger part, then start using the mind. Thank you, sir. But uh, could you like mention like few players who you think are going to be? Why uh, should I mention few players? Are they, are they representing India or representing a, t, a person? No. You always look at the bigger thing. Is bigger thing is the country they are representing. Individual is no. Like in, in, in your sense, if I put it, India lost. But how much Virat Kohli made? What difference did it make one India lost? When you win, then ask who done better. Not when they didn't play well. Then everybody is, last match, oh, Virat Kohli made a hundred, but they lost. But they lost. Hundred have no meaning. So always look when the performance is, when you do well, then talk about. If your school is doing well, you can't say a person. In totality, is all the student have done well, you are a winner. Hello, sir. Uh, I want to ask you, when you were playing cricket, you had many great West Indian bowlers bowling to you, and they had injured so many batsmen. Have you ever felt scared while playing against them, and is it OK to be scared when you're playing against great bowlers like that? You do get scared, but you take a pride to represent yourself in the country, and you are the best. Doesn't matter how other people, you have to say, I am the best, I'm ready to take a challenge. The people who take a challenge, they win always. Sometimes, is talent is not important, is the commitment is important. The committed people will win the race, not only talented people win the race. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. I have a question for you. Sir, uh, with the times changing, we've also seen in cricket that uh, uh, most of the current generation, they follow T20 cricket o and ODI cricket and test cricket is a, uh, m the, the recent players, they tend to play all advanced shots, sweeps, reverse sweeps and all those things which people never played before. And even in test cricket, now we are seeing the English team, they are playing at a run rate of six and over which uh, we never saw before. Sir, so do you think the, this is the correct way to go forward or uh, do you still believe that what used to be there earlier, like uh, like m more emphasis on technique and all those things is more important or do you uh, agree with the current generation which are more interested in the shorter format of the game playing uh, uh, unorthodox shots? I think anything you want to assess, you can't assess on base today. Over the period of time, you come to know which is right. It's too new. It's too early, I can give my judgment, but I think anything you want to have to assess, you have to give them 20, 30 years, what is right, what is wrong. Today, I can say, yeah, it's a new idea, new thing, but do they think the test match is not good enough? So it's all depend. Let the expert should talk to me, Cricket is cricket, doesn't matter, T21 day, yesterday or today, cricket is a cricket.
Uh, good morning, sir. So I wanted to ask that if you weren't a cricketer, what would you be? What do you think? I don't think so. I would have born. <laughs> so I mean, it's very difficult to assess if I'm not. As a young boy, I was only a cricketer, so I don't know how is being any other person in this world. Ha, meri bhi shayad chai ki dukaan hoti. Main bhi prime minister ban sakta tha. So, just to motiva motivate us all over here, can you say your famous quote? Sorry? From, can you say your famous quote from the movie just to motivate us all Which, here? What, what? Taste of success. Yeah, Ta say it, say it. Taste I love you. Say it once. Come on. So say it once. You say it, nah. So you say it, please. No, I come all, on. So for all of us. No. Just you once. Say, you say it. So really, we all want it. First. We do, right? You first, you say it. Yeah. When you eat a chocolate, you come to know the taste of chocolate. When you have a success one, it's always taste better and beautiful if other people also enjoy your taste. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, because after that, they are not paying me the money. So I stopped saying that dialogue. Or oh, there was a, a dialogue called Pomolib the Jawab Nahi. I said, but they stopped giving me ads, so I don't say anymore. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Uh, sir, like you mentioned that sports should not be about pressure but pleasure. But sometimes when you face consecutive losses, it's difficult to stay motivated. Irrespective of what other people have to say, your inner voice starts demotivating you. So how do you basically celebrate your losses, not just victories? It's a learning. The best part is when you're not performing well, what we say, go back to the drawing board. Go back to the practice. When you're not getting runs, only way you can get runs is not sitting in the room and crying. Go back to the ground. Practice more, better you will be. When you're not getting good number in the class, go back to the drawing board. Study more. More you study, better you will be. If that positive act, no way you will get 100 every day. No way you will be first all the time, 100% mark. It's not possible. But you keep on studying hard, will reach there. You may not today get all the answer correct. But if you work hard, you will be better off. That's all. Sir, sometimes it takes more than a few years to get something in return. So how do you stay committed to the sport? So it only take few years extra, no? You are saying. It doesn't matter. Let like take few years extra. What's when you are taking few years extra, you're learning. It's growth taking place. You don't want a success overnight. It's over the period of time. And when you make a zero, you're learning. It's no fun you make a hundred every day. It's a fun also when you make a zero, you come to know there is other side of life also. And then you start working hard. Thank you so much, sir. Well, thank you so much for your truly inspirational and unique views. With that, I would pass the ceremony over back to our MCs. I'm sure Kapil Sir's words have enthralled us all, and his interaction with the audience was extremely entertaining. May I now request Kapil Sir to sign the guest book. Okay, where is my coffee? <laughs> I give a hint also, they don't understand. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm, no, 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 I don't need coffee, I'm just saying that. But if you bring, it's okay. <laughs>
Thank you, sir. Rohan, Rohan. May I now request Mr. Atul Tamunako to please come up on stage and facil felicitate Mr. Kapil Dev. I was joking about the coffee. Don't bring, huh? I honestly, I was joking. With this, we come to the end of the leadership lecture series. May I request the audience? With this, we move on and we request the audience to rise for the national anthems. I request the audience to rise for the national anthems.
audience please be seated it was wonderful to have you all here today thank you once again and have a great day and we request everyone to please remain seated please request all the students to remain seated even the cricketers